Welcome to the Friday Casebook. I'm Lena, a freelance journalist and moderator, and I'm very excited to hear all about the latest events in Europe and the world. Thanks to Roger Casale, the founder of New Europeans. Hi, Roger. Hi, Lena. How are you? What happened this week? It is um, very exciting, isn't it, that, that NASA have uh, finally managed to land a piece of IKEA furniture on Mars. Did you see it live? Did you see the touchdown? Yes, I did. It did look a little bit like a flat packed uh, mm. IKEA furniture, but fortunately it was self assembly. Uh, that trajectory reminds me of when I try and throw a piece of paper into my waste paper basket. Uh, I can't manage to do that, but they managed to land this exactly where they meant to. It. it was a very, very exciting moment. And now we know that there is artificially intelligent life on Mars and we're wondering what will happen next. But we waited expectantly for the, for the dust to settle, a little bit like an overnight ferry journey where you peek through your porthole in the morning, uh, hope that it's not a foggy day and you suddenly get your first view of uh, the new environment. And this is what we saw. You'll notice that, uh, the, that there's a complete absence of uh, pubs and restaurants. Uh, they're going to spend a lot of their time uh, breaking up rocks. And the uh, European Space Agency is then going to be tasked with uh, going to Mars and uh, recovering these rocks, picking up the pieces. I think it'll be called Scavenger. Uh, and bringing them back to Earth in a kind of giant interplanetary recycling exercise. I think they're going to be picking those rocks up on a Tuesday. That's the household, the general household waste day is Tuesday. And uh, then they'll be back on a Wednesday, presumably to pick up the organics and paper. What the Mars mission tells us, Lena, I think, is that uh, teamwork uh, matters, science matters. Having uh, a clear, ambitious, bold focus, pushing beyond the new frontiers matters. And I think there are lessons for us to learn in Europe from what the Americans have achieved. We need to raise our game. And that takes me on to uh, the next story, returning to planet Earth and seeing what's going on uh, down here. Uh, because uh, this week we also had the um, amazing news about the decision by the president of uh, Colombia yes. to allow one million refugees from Venezuela to uh, be able to regularize their position uh, in Colombia and to be able to stay there legally with access to services and the labor market for the next 10 years and during that time to be able to get the papers that they need to be able to stay for good. I think it's an extraordinary humanitarian gesture. It flies the flag for human rights internationally. It's just a pity that the European Union do, do the same thing immediately after Brexit, but rather left people in limbo for three years until they'd agreed a deal with the United Kingdom. But, so if I was wearing a hat, I would take it off to Ivan Duque Marquez, the president of uh, Colombia. There he is on the left with Antonio Guterres, uh, from the United Nations on the right. Well done to them. Who's on the naughty step this week, Roger? It's about time we had uh, somebody British on the naughty step, I think, uh, Lena. And um, the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, I think is a very uh, worthy candidate to be on the <laughs> naughty step this week. And, uh, you know, he's been handing out contracts for uh, companies to uh, make things that will help to deliver the COVID vaccine, including uh, little vials that they put the COVID vaccine in. And one of those contracts uh, we now know because uh, for a long time he refused to publish the contracts, but eventually he had to do so. We now know that one of these contracts went to his uh, friend, Alex Bourne. There we have the two happy chappies uh, pulling a pint of beer. Uh, it's Alex Bourne on the right. It's, in fact, it's his pub and Matt Hancock on the left. So, um, yeah, uh, nobody can yet properly answer the question how Alex Bourne's uh, company is able to 
land a contract for 30 million pounds to make vials for COVID vaccines. But um, until we get a clear uh, answer from Matt Hancock, I think I'll leave the two of them. I, leave, I think I prefer to leave him on the naughty step. I think this is really good that you're mentioning it. I mean, it's, it's a really serious problem and it seems odd. It may be nothing untoward about it. It may just be a, a coincidence. But, you know, what are we going to find out next? We're going to find out that Boris Johnson's hairdresser, having made such a mess of Boris Johnson's hair, <laughs> has gone into the border police and had himself a, a uh, you know, a multi-million pound contract for uh, putting in new border controls in Dover. I, it, it seems quite a coincidence and I think it merits further inquiry. What else is happening in the world? Well, we talked a lot about Poland and I'm sorry to say that our very good friend who's a member of New Europeans, Marta Lempart, who is one of the founders of the Polish women's strike, has been arrested and is facing a potentially uh, a, a prison sentence, uh, allegedly for um, breaking uh, COVID rules and uh, uh, sneezing on a, a policeman, but these are, these are trumped up charges to try and silence her. Marta is the uh, person who organizes the uh, demonstrations for the Polish uh, women's strike when the police turn up and say, attention, attention, we're the police. Marta responds, attention, attention, we are the citizens. Um, it's been a fantastic uh, way of promoting the campaign of the Polish women's uh, strike and Marta is getting, I'm pleased to say, a lot of support uh, across the, the, the world at the moment. That's a very good article about her uh, in, uh, in Vogue, but we are concerned about the uh, implications for her and she, I know that she's very anxious about what's happening, understandably, but she's a very brave, very courageous woman and we're very proud to have her as a member of New Europeans and to support what she's doing. And of course, this is about the tightening, the further tightening of the abortion laws in uh, Poland. I mean, this is the government that's given us uh, LGBT free zones that is interfering in the rule of law. Remember our good friend Mo 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 Monica Fokowiak, who is one of the judges who's been put under pressure uh, just for doing her job as a lawyer and upholding the law. Uh, and now we have this attack on Marta Lempart. There's Marta on one of their uh, nighttime demonstrations of the Polish women's uh, strike. And you, you realize that um, sort of the water is, waters are rising, as it were, uh, when people you know start to get um, arrested by the police for defending human rights and, 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 and democracy uh, and standing up for what is, what is right. So we stand with, uh, with Marta. Uh, we, we wish her well and we will keep our dear YouTube uh, audience informed about her case as things go on. Thank you for keeping us informed and yeah, we stand by Martyr. What's coming up next? It relates in a way to Martyr's case, Lena, what's coming up next, because this week is World NGO Days and um, NGOs and civil society organisations have a vital role to play in defending human rights, democracy and the rule of law. I saw on the New Europeans website that a new Quo Vadis event is coming up. Who's going to speak there? Quo Vadis, where are we going? Where are we going Europe? Where are we going Central and Eastern Europe? Yeah, we have an amazing group of people together, uh, Lena. We have civil rights activists from Poland, from Belarus, from inside Belarus, Olga Kostukiewicz, who is uh, marching every week for the democracy movement, live on Quo Vadis. We have, uh, we have Igor Izadju, who's a Ukrainian emigre in Poland and an LGBT activist with his own radio show speaking to us. And we have Tatyana Bejonka from Crimea under Russian occupation, a human rights activist on the wow. day of resistance against Russian occupation in Crimea, speaking to us from Crimea. So we are uh, giving a platform to people who are the 
front edge of uh, fighting for democracy, human rights and rule of law in the region. And we invite our audience to uh, watch the show and to support uh, these uh, wonderful, courageous people uh, as they fight to defend the civic space in Europe. Wonderful. So tonight at 7 p.m., or if you watch the Friday case book a bit later, just uh, have a look at the New Europeans website. Thank That's you it. very much, Roger, for this Friday case book. And please don't forget to subscribe to help our movement to support Marta and everyone who needs our support at the moment. Thank you, Roger, and see Thanks. you next week. Thanks, Tina. See you next week.